जो मेरे सीने में है दफन इनको जरा देखे हवा बन जाऊं मैं द जर्नी ऑफ ब्रह्मास्त्र बिगैन इन 2011 on a writing trip in shimla my first feature film had released at that point and i was working on the script of my second movie i have always felt a very powerful energy a strong spirituality in our mountains and i truly believe that it is from the energy of the himalayas that the vision of brahmastra was born from the start that vision was to create a very new amazing kind of world for our indian audiences with brahmastra a truly cinematic spectacle unlike anything that had been created out of the indian film industry before a mystical epic movie trilogy made up of images that could only be created with the most modern technology but a film whose soul was deeply inspired by our ancient indian roots our culture our spirituality Even in its earliest form, Brahmastra was a ridiculously ambitious idea. Nothing like it had ever been created out of India before. So there was no road map of how to do what I wanted to do. I realized very early that the visual effects and the scale of movie I was imagining was totally out of reach, beyond the limits of where technology and film budgets were capped at in India. But I always believed that if I somehow managed to overcome these challenges and if I got the film right that Brahmastra would be a truly pioneering and groundbreaking film a film that our country would feel proud of When Ye Jawani Hai Diwani released I was 29 years old and now when Brahmastra releases I will be 39 I could never have imagined that 10 years of my life would be spent solely in pursuing the vision of Brahmastra but i truly believe that all this time and energy was needed to create a truly high quality once in a lifetime experience for our audiences with Brahmastra